Today, we're making wet felted finger puppets. Some assembly required. I was thinking about wet felting the other day, like you do, and I was thinking it would be the perfect way to make custom fit finger puppets because you could just make them right on your fingers. All you really need is wool, maybe some googly eyes for afterwards, or you could even needle felt some features. Let's get felting! I've started out by separating the wool into thin strips. That helps keep it from getting all lumpy while you're felting. First, I'll wrap a few strips around Lily's finger, not too tight of course, and I'm trying to wrap a little bit extra at the fingertip so it's not too thin. The next layer of fiber is going to go the long way over the fingertip from front to back and another from side to side. Now the next layer goes around again. And finally, I'll add even more to the end. I'm really trying to get full coverage. Switching the direction of the wool fibers for each layer helps to make sure that everything felts together as thoroughly as possible and lessens the likelihood of annoying holes. Now we'll soak all the wool with nice hot water, but not too hot, there's still a finger in there, add some dish soap and let the felting begin. Initially, you want to be pretty gentle so the fibers don't slip around from where you put them. Really just squeeze the fiber for a while. Eventually, you can move on to rubbing. Uh, we're using some bubble wrap to increase the agitation without having to rely on our poor knuckles. The bubble wrap definitely helps to speed up the felting, but it still takes quite a while. When you are satisfied that your finger puppets are well felted, you can rinse them in cold water, squeeze them out, and let them dry. Another option, if you don't want to build a puppet on your finger, or maybe if you wanted a different shape, is to cut a piece of craft foam and use that as your resist instead of your finger. You just wrap your fiber around the same way and start felting. Just like before, you can use bubble wrap to help the felting along. Eventually, you may want to peel the puppet off the foam to finish up the felting. And now the puppets are dry and ready for features. I gave the red one magnet eyes, like the ones that we made a few videos ago. Mostly I was joking, but it could actually be a cool way to give your puppet changeable expressions. Just sort of make a face on a piece of magnet and change it whenever you want to. As you may have noticed by now, I can't resist the siren call of a googly eye, so red and blue will get those. Orange here will be getting a needle felted face, and I'll also felt his gaping hole closed. Apparently I missed a spot. I'm just felting everything on with shallow pokes because not a lot of foam fits up into his head. Ah, huh, there we go. Perfect. I thought that my puppet needed a smile too. And here they are, looking terrific. Hey, you look great! Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that stuff. And make finger puppets. Come! New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So click the bell for all notifications so you don't miss anything.